And the topic of today is... I hate when people mispronounce words. This is like one of my biggest pet peeves. And this is a segment called I Hate. And basically it's just me talking about things that I don't like, kind of like ranting basically. Today's I Hate is I hate when people mispronounce words. Like I said, one of my biggest pet peeves. The first example of people who, that mispronounce words um, is one of the biggest one that annoys me. It's my sister, she says, instead of saying espresso, she says, Expresso. Yeah, and it honestly like really annoys me and she's, she's like, oh, I could really go for an espresso right now. I'm like, you could actually really go for an espresso right now. So I just, I don't know, that really annoys me. I don't, I don't really know why. It's kind of like, like a really odd pet peeve. Another word that really bugs me is um, when people say often. And you're going to think, but often, that's how you pronounce that word. Actually, it's not. In the dictionary, the pronunciation for O-F-T-E-N is often. The T is silent. You can actually, right now, go onto dictionary.com and look up the word often. And when you go to press, press like the volume thing that it tells you how to pronounce it, it will say often. It will not say often. And that just like really bugs me. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Another word that really that bugs me when people mispronounce, and it's technically not a mispronunciation because it depends on what region of the United States that you live in, but the word pecan. See, I say pecan. Um, it really bugs me when, people, when I hear the word pecan. I don't know why. That just like, oh, it annoys me so badly. When I hear the word pecan, I'm like, no, it's pecan. You don't eat pecan pie or pecan pie. You eat pecan pie. I don't know, it just, just really annoys me, just really annoys me. The next word that's mispronounced that really bugs me would be the word clothes. I'm just going to mispronounced and how where I would correct it, correct it. Hey mom, can we go to H&M and get some new clothes? No honey, we can't go to H&M because you can't buy clothes at H&M, but you can buy clothes at H&M. My point here is that it's not clothes. These are not clothes. The door can close, but this is not clothes. It's clothes. It sounds weird. And when you try to pronounce it, it sounds weird too, like clothes. Because we always, we always say clothes now. We don't say that we own clothes. But yes, there is the slightest infraction of a TH in the word, and I don't know, for some reason, it just really bugs me. It's clothes, not clothes. Two totally different words, two totally different meanings. The next word that really bugs me is kind of like espresso. Um, it's when people say escape. Same type of thing, they, they're just adding that X, and I don't, I don't know where that X is coming from. I've never seen an X in that word. Have you? I, have you seen a, a word? Where did the X come from? Uh, come from X World? I don't know. Where did it come from? That's right, because there is no X in escape. It's E S Cape. Basically, it's just E S C A P E. That is all. No X Cape. So stop. You're not escaping. You are escaping. Next thing that just boggles me is like I don't even get this. Is when people say for all intensive purposes. So you're probably thinking, okay, what? What's wrong? That's not even the phrase actually. The phrase is actually for all intents and purposes. So basically, your intention or your purpose to do something, but not your intensive purpose. I can see how people would get that, but still, what, what the heck? I don't know what that was, I'm sorry. <laughs> Something that else that really annoys me that comes up a lot in my AP European History class is the word hierarchy, which is spelled H-I-E-R-A-R-C-H-Y. For some reason, so many people feel the need to spell it as, like, hierarchy. I've even heard airarchy, because, you know, like, an heir, like, heir to the throne or something. But I heard I hear hierarchy all the time and airarchy and I'm like hierarchy? <laughs> um hello. <laughs> like I get it. Some people don't know, but this is the last one. I hate when people say nuclear. So basically how is that word wrong, Bella? I don't get it. How is it wrong? Because the words nuclear N U C L E A R. 
Not N-U-C-U-L-A-R. That'd be nuclear. But that's not a word. It's nuclear, not nuclear. So, when we talk about chemistry, you need to know your words. Don't know how to end it. I'm just gonna have a little dance party. Party of one. Hope you enjoyed this episode of I Hate da 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 And if you liked this video or agreed with anything, because you know, some people really hate when people mispronounce words and some people like really don't care. Um, but if you agreed with anyone, make sure you give us a big thumbs up and comment down below if I missed any and you can think of any and then I'll be like, totally forgot that and I'll, maybe I'll comment back saying like, I totally agree. Oh my gosh. I don't have the ability to handle that because it's so annoying. If you have any other topics for I hate, let me know in the comments down below and maybe I will choose yours if I hate it. And leave any other video suggestions for other videos. I like doing comedy, sketches, rant videos. That's kind of my thing. I like doing the rants even though they're negative, but I just need to get it out. And um, just really anything like in the world of comedy. I'm all over, all over the spectrum. I, I do what I do. I don't stick to one thing because who wants to do that? So I told you to like and comment, but there, there may have been one thing I forgot. Oh yeah, subscribe. Bye. <laughs>